Hello. Uh, so to run the uh, credit card fraud detection project, what you have to do? First, uh, you have to open Anapurna Navigator. So click on, uh, just search it on your system. This Anaconda Navigator you just have to open. While opening the Anaconda Navigator, uh, also you have to open SQL Yo. This is the software you have to open next. Then uh, click on this continue button. And uh, here your username is your password. Okay, so uh, just uh, click on connect. Okay, uh, then uh, open this Anaconda Navigator click on no remind me later and here you have to select project environment okay so uh, in documentation uh, you will get one link uh, which contains uh, how to create the environment and how to install all the softwares and all and how to install the libraries as well so just refer that youtube video and uh, you will get all the idea about this so now uh, just click on this no remind me later and launch the vs code if you launch this VS code via project, you will get uh, like uh, your project will run without error. But if you uh, open this VS code without any environment, then you have to face so many issues and so many errors. Okay, next uh, just open this uh, website folder, then open this web credit folder, then uh, copy this path. Okay, and here. Uh, you have in VS code you have to select this file select open folder option and here you have to paste that path uh, after pasting the path you have to uh, press enter and then click on select folder after that same thing uh, just open uh, mysql uh, click on this file click on this open and then paste that path over here then press enter button and here you will get this uh, SQL yoke file. Okay, so just select this file and click on open. Uh, afterwards, you have to uh, you have to click over here and press Control A. So you have to select whole code and uh, click on this uh, green button. Okay, after clicking the green button, you will get uh, this kind of uh, messages okay then you have to check uh, whether you have a hmm uh, yeah hmm database or not if you don't have then uh, just uh, double click on this root at the red local and on white space you have to right click over here then uh, select refresh object browser okay and after after that you will get hmm credit so just click on this plus icon here you have to click on this plus icon here you will get multiple tables so out of this table uh, one table is a users table which contains all the information about users like while registering user uh, user should have to submit some data like email address username password mobile number address and all so some of the details we will store in uh, this table and some uh, and the remaining data we will store in address table in add product uh, when uh, admin start adding any kind of products and some extra products then the product we will add over here then uh, this product table contains uh, all the data which we statically stored in database okay then uh, this cart uh, in the sense when a user start adding any uh, product in cart so this cart uh, so we will store that data in cart uh, table uh, next fraud and non fraud while making the payment at that time our machine learning model will check whether this uh, whether that uh, payment uh, contains any fraud activity or not and accordingly we will store that data in uh, this two folder uh, in these two tables okay uh, after that uh, if you want to check the data like what kind of data we will store and uh, how the how this tables looks like uh, so what you have to do you have to select any one of the uh, table and right click on it then uh, click on view data so we'll get all the data over here okay if if you uh, click on another table so data will change so you will get uh, that that particular data which is available in this uh, table Okay. And if you don't want this data, you want to delete this data, then just right click on it 
select this truncate table so uh, whole data will get deleted okay now uh, you have to open this vs code and on the right side you will get one triangle okay play button so just click on this play button okay uh, if you uh, if you didn't get this kind of uh, button in your vs code so what you have to do you have to click on this extension then here you have to search python here you will get that extension so just open this sorry uh, open this and here you will get the option uh, to install the extension so just you just have to click on this and you have to install this uh, extension basically after that again come to basic just close this and now uh, after getting this uh, message on terminal what you have to do just select this particular line till http okay just select this uh, only once you have to uh, press ctrl c if you double click uh, if you double press then uh, this code will uh, on, i mean uh, this terminal get terminated uh, after copying this data uh, open any one of the browser and uh, paste it over here and press enter button so here you will get your website okay now uh, if you click on this sign up button you will get so many options to fill the form okay you have to fill this form and uh, click on submit okay uh, so for example if i use this abcd email address let's say this password is ASTF address something is XYZ postal code and open just to make sure we don't have okay. so now click on this sign up Hello, Moto. so uh, one later one upper later at the rate one two three and sign up okay one upper case one lower case and minimum at least eight characters we should have to put over here so i'll do one thing a s t f g h j at the rate one two three and sign up so after that uh, in SQL you uh, we will uh, here you will get the updated data if you didn't get just click on this refresh button so you will get updated data over here okay. uh, after that what we have to do uh, we have to again we have to use uh, this email ID and password uh, but before that just make sure your email address should be a genuine email address okay like your original email address you should uh, have to uh, submit uh, otherwise your user username password address mobile number that is fake it's okay uh, like a uh, system can access but if your email address is not genuine like uh, this kind of email address or this kind of email address then uh, system can't send any kind of otp on your email okay so that's why your email address should be genuine okay after that what we have to do so uh, i'll use this email address to log in myself so i'll click on this sign up again i'll uh, use this password and sign in now we don't have any kind of data in card so just close it scroll down and here we have to add any one of the products like any anything you can add in your card now close scroll down there are multiple uh, categories we can add So uh, after adding all the uh, products uh, in your cart, what we have to do, we have to just click on this checkout button. Then here you can uh, enter any anything. 
okay uh, just select anything here and submit this data after that one page will uh, load so here we use a strip uh, api uh, to make the payment okay so uh, if you click on this pay with card uh, you will get one page okay this kind of uh, pop up and on right side you will get one button that is a test mode so just uh, press control button and click on this test mode button so uh, one a tab will open here you will get multiple cards these are the fake numbers so you can use that use this a uh, fake credit cards or debit card numbers to make the payment on payment here so here you can add any kind of uh, email address now uh, just uh, copy any one of the uh, uh, any, any, any uh, credit card number and here you have to paste it then uh, you can use any random month and year but year should be uh, before 10 years like uh, right now it's a 2023 so before 2033 you can use any any year so if i use this uh, 2030 and cvv uh, you can put any random four digit number zip code should be random and then just click on this pay thanks after that it will check whether your uh, data is genuine or not okay now uh, our model is saying that according to hmm a fraud detected please check your email and verify yourself otp is sent on mail so if you click here you will get the otp here so just copy this otp then uh, press control and uh, click on this link just open this put that otp here and submit it after that your transaction is blocked uh, and your account has been secured so we will stop uh, making the transactions okay because uh, if third person is making any uh, payment at that time you should have to block the transaction so that's why we use this uh, OTP to stop or to block the transaction okay and this is how we can uh, check whether a payment or a, a credit card payment uh, is a fraud or not Okay, so that the like these are the values uh, which we uh, use to uh, check like if you click on checkout button and if you fill all this form so based on these details uh, we will check whether your uh, payment is fraud or not okay and uh, to uh, uh, train the model we need some database so we fetch data from Kaggle website Okay. so you should have to follow this procedure you should have to follow this path to run the project thank you